A lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right, I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other day from Westchester, New York, around the area. He didn't want anything. He just said, sir, I have hundreds of patients, and I give them hydroxychloroquine. I give them the z pack which is zithromycin, and I give them zinc. And out of the hundreds of patients, many hundreds, over 300 patients, I've, I haven't lost one. He said, please keep pressing that, sir. Uh, and if you look at that phony report that was put in, that report on the hydroxy was given to people that were in extraordinarily bad condition. Extraordinarily bad. People that were dying. No, I, I think, for whatever it's worth, I take it. I was, uh, I, I would have told you that three, four days ago, but we never had a chance because you never asked me the question. Are you the White House doctor that? recommend that you take that? Is that why you're Yeah, White House doctor. I didn't recommend. No, I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. A lot of front... Uh, I don't take it because, hey, people said, oh, maybe he owns the company. No, I don't own the company. You know what? I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. But you look at frontline workers, you look at doctors and nurses, a lot of them are taking it as a preventative. And they're taking, totally unrelated, but they take the z pack or the zithromycin for possible infection. Now, I haven't taken that other than an original dose because the, all you need, you don't have to take it simultaneously. But the zinc you do take. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is, so far, I seem to be okay. Can you explain, sir, though, why you started taking it? Have you been exposed? Yeah, because, no, no, not at all. I just said that I've had so many letters from people like the one I told you about, I got it last week. I'll give you, would you like a copy of it? I'd love to give you, if you ask Molly, she'll give you a copy of it. But this is a doctor, he doesn't want anything. I don't know him, never heard of him. But he treats people that are, that we're talking about. And he said out of hundreds of people that he's treated, he hasn't lost one. And he just wanted me to know about it, that's all. It wasn't, he wasn't saying, gee, could I have dinner with you, Mr. President? I'd like to come to the White House. But I've received many such letters. I've received a lot of positive letters. And it seems to have an impact. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you're not going to get sick or die. This is a, a uh, pill that's been used for a long time, for 30, 40 years on the malaria and on lupus, too, and even on arthritis.